So my beautiful people, I am back with another Elden Ring video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get an insane amount of runes for semi-advanced players, I'd say level 40 plus, this is definitely one for you. Check out how many I have, 350,000 guys, I mean farming this spot for probably half an hour maybe, probably less, it's so efficient, it's easy and it's something you're definitely going to want to do. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so once you get to around a level 40 plus, maybe even 30, I mean, leveling up takes a ton of runes. Now we know the rune farm at the boulders is great. I mean, it's efficient, one of the most efficient in the game. But once you hit a certain level, guys, it becomes slow. It starts to become slow and then you're going to need better and more efficient spots and that's what i bring you today now there's two things i recommend you having not essential but you should have them but the one for sure the one is this right here this is the gold scarab talisman this increases your runes obtained by 20 percent 20 percent now if you don't know about this and how you get it i'll link a video in the video description i'll put a guide out on it relatively straightforward to get not gonna lie the other thing you're going to need is a weapon which can take out multiple enemies and do it easily. In my opinion, and I'm still sticking to our guns, guys. The Bloodhound's Fang is still one of the best weapons in this game. Especially for samurais like me who haven't gone into uh, magic and, and, and things like that. This is an absolute beast. Now, when you get this thing, if you don't know about it already, I'll link a video on this as well in the video description. Level it up. So you want to get those somber uh, smithing stones. So you're obviously going to want to get it up as high as you can. A six isn't necessary. I come here. Mine was a plus level three. It was a little bit more difficult. But still, I was a level like 45 maybe then. But I was still getting this farm down to a T. Uh, not as efficient as I can do it now and showcase to you guys. I was just learning the basics about the area. But I was still earning tons more runes than I would anywhere else at this level. So yes, the Blood Hands Fang is something you definitely want to do uh, and level up and get it. Now, if you don't know about the uh, Smithing Stones to and the Summer Smithing Stones to level it up, there's a guy right here, right by the Road of the Manor. You can see left hand side of the map, uh, right above the King's Realm rooms. So here, you want to come here. There's actual a Smithy dude there. He sells the Summer Smithing Stones up to I think a level four. Then you're going to need to go and get a level 5 and 6, which I'll put links in the video description too. I mean, you write them into YouTube, guys. Tons of them come up. Tons of them come up. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, it's not hard whatsoever to grab them either. So, you want to do that and level up this weapon. So, once you've got the gold scarab, you've got a decent weapon. What you want to do is, guys, come to this part of the map. So, we are at the very top, which is Road of Iniquity Side Path. Now here, underneath the bridge, there's a grace, which you want to trigger and add fake, because this is where the farm starts. Now I'll showcase it to you guys right now, and it's just absolutely ridiculously, there's only one thing you need to worry about, and that is the pumpkin head troll dude. Now you can see here, um, I'll just showcase to you what I do, and you'll see me doing it in a quick second. So all these, guys, all these uh, dudes guys drop 400 plus runes each. 400 plus each with a god scarab the trolls at the back easy to kill the pumpkin head easy to kill so once you take them out you quickly run down here well actually by the time you've killed their first ads the trolls will be halfway down this hill i'd say about here so then you kill them guys there on your right on your left sorry them guys on your right there then you come down here there's a couple guys here take them out and then guys concentrate on the big trolls you'll see me do it anyway on screen and then if you want to you can take, come down here, the three guys, those three guys will be around this spot here. Um, come across here guys, take them through out if you want. And then come down here guys and there's another pumpkin head. I mean, I can do the whole run in basically two and a half, three minutes maximum. And that's not doing it as efficient as I probably could do if I tried harder. And then guys, just simply fast travel back to the spot and rinse and repeat it is as simple as that now in terms of runes per minute runes per hour runes per week i don't know it's thousands and thousands and thousands it's millions guys 
So yeah, now you'll see me doing it on screen now. And like I said, I just run forward. I trigger the fight. I try and entice the pumpkin head out uh, and kill him straight away. I just slash dodge back, slash dodge back, slash dodge back. Now, obviously I'm a higher level now. But when I first got here, it took a little bit more to punish him and get him down. But the other guys were more or less one to two hits each. Nothing too difficult whatsoever. And like I said, they give you 400 plus each enemy so the pumpkin guy here will give you over a thousand runes if you decide to do the full run and go to the very end the other pumpkin guy will obviously give you the same amount the two uh giants carrying or uh, pulling the carriage will give you over two thousand each so yeah keep that in mind and along with 400 plus for each of our small enemy in the area which you can take out easily in under three minutes probably two minutes if you're quick enough there's quite a lot to farm here guys they don't even have to run down the hill if you want to just take out the two big trolls pulling the carriage, you can do that and then run back or just fast travel back to that grace point and rinse and repeat, guys. You don't have to go all the way down. You can probably make it even more efficient doing it that way. Also, with the big dudes carrying or pulling the uh, carriage, with this blade here, with this sword I'm using, when you do the left trigger attack and then you follow it with the right trigger, um, they actually fall flat on their face and you can take them out relatively straightforward. I'm not sure if this is just a mechanic with this weapon. It probably works with all weapons to be honest, but it does make things a lot easier for sure. But yeah, like I said guys, this is by far, and it's not boring either. The border thing for me is so boring. You do it for about 10 minutes and you're bored out your mind. This isn't boring. So yeah, just copy what I do on screen now guys. Um, if you don't want to go down, like I said, as far as I do, simply just fast travel back to the grace. We start the farm and you will earn hundreds of thousands of runes in no time at all, guys, which will help you level up crazily. Now, obviously, this is only going to be efficient till you hit a certain level. For me now, I think mine is a probably about 25,000 uh, runes to level up each one. Uh, I'm on my level 65. This is obviously going to increase with every level up I go. So there's obviously going to be better and more harder enemies in the game sooner or later which give you even more runes but for now guys level 40 plus is up to probably a level 70 80 90 maybe this is definitely efficient for you so i hope it helps you out guys i really do now if it does leave a like it really helps me out if you're new around here and want to see more out of the ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one